hello 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 and happy friday it's another vlog and i am taking you guys with me of course i'm going to the galleria and i am going to go check out that beautiful damier bean speedy 20 with that wonderful strap that i really really want and i'm going to go and try on the 20 handbag because as of right now me find the triangle softy in excellent condition it's hard so i'm gonna go try those two handbags on and i'm gonna stop by fendi because i seen some earrings online and so hopefully guys i leave out with something okay i i have my budget set in my head i am going to do right and i'm going to take you guys with me so hey let's go
this is what they're talking about. Yeah, you see how it's cold. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit. What you thinking? Compare them. Thank you, bye-bye. I know you guys have been waiting on this unboxing so i am going to jump right into it i am going to start with the smallest bag and then i am going to move my way up to the larger bag which of course is a handbag so let's get started only been a few hours but it felt like days only been days but it felt like months we gone for a year only go like once life move fast when you do what you want I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want want Okay, so guys, this is a smaller bag And let me get the item out If you are an active LV shopper Or if you have purchased this item before You know exactly what's inside I wanted to order these from the website Saw them in the store And I was like um bring it up <laughs> okay so let me get this open and if you are familiar with this case like i said you already know what it is so here it is let me get it out of the dust bag and you guys know i am a big big sunglasses like collector honestly and i love all of lv shades and here they are let me see if i can get this a close-up on these beauties can you guys see i know you see the ring light but can you see these are amazing guys absolutely amazing so beautiful i love the monogram like that's embossed here on the side everything about these glasses are beautiful love these sunglasses they are called the lv pilot sunglasses they were $705. And let me see if I can get these on without the ring light. Showing. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. I have six pairs of sunglasses from LV. And I absolutely love collecting shades. And so these are so beautiful. I am so happy to add these to my collection these are everything guys i'm telling you check it out on the website
Okay, so let's move on to the actual handbag that I picked up. Some of you guys had already guessed, but I have a long story to tell you on why I actually picked this item, okay? So let's put this back up. And again, like I said, $700 and five dollars for these shades and i will also link them in the description if you are interested okay i 100 percent stand behind lv shades you won't be disappointed so let me get the next bag and open up so you guys can see the handbag that i chose and why i chose this handbag okay so here it is i have not looked at it anymore once i left the store i honestly just left it inside of the bag and I said I will do this unboxing with my YouTube family. And that's exactly what I am going to do. And let me grab it out. In the dust bag and put the box away. <laughs> so here it is. Three, two, and one. Yes, you guys guessed. I I wouldn't purchase the Speedy 20 in Damier Bean print. I have a story to tell you guys. First, I'm going to let you know this is actually the only one that actually made it to the gallery store. And so my CA, she said it came in. She saw it. She sent me a picture and she was like, Marquita, I'm holding this for you. You are going to want this handbag. And so I went in. I took a look. I showed you guys in the vlog. But let me tell you something. This was actually my last choice. It wasn't my first choice. It was my last choice. I honestly wanted to leave out of there with the reverse monogram 20 handbag. That is such a beautiful handbag. The reason I did not purchase the 20 handbag right then and there was because it was makeup stains all over it inside i saw a lipstick mark it was a display bag it was a display bag and she did tell me my ca was like i can get this bag for you but you know i have to order it but i wanted to leave with it right then and there i wasn't patient at all so let me let me let me go over this and then i'll tell you guys some more details okay because the capucine the croc capucine was the bomb as well so let's go over the details on this beauty of course it is a damier bean print you guys know this size 20 this is the speedy 20 extended zipper we know this inside the beautiful cherry red material on the opposite side guys it does have a card compartment here no zipper compartment just a slot here that's it the same exact just like the monogram okay speedy 20 the only thing is the print is the only difference okay but this beauty here honestly stole the show no i cannot use this as a belt but it is adjustable and this is everything I absolutely love this strap. This is so beautiful. This is gorgeous. I have so many handbags in mind and I am going to honestly show you. I mean, even adding it to the graceful, the graceful PM, I am going to use every Dame Bean, honestly, print, every handbag in my collection is going to have this strap. So this is actually what won me over so i am going to add it to the speedy 20 show you guys a few mod shots and i'm going to add it on some more handbags but while i am adding the strap on let me tell you the croc the orange croc handbag was actually already sold guys the young lady was nice enough to let me try it on it was already sold and so that was actually my second choice so the 20 I was like, you know what? I want to leave with a handbag today. That's just me being spoiled. I wanted to leave with a handbag. And of course, it shows in stock on the website. I can just go in there and purchase myself, except for just waiting until my CA receive. The 20 is a beautiful handbag, but I do see you having issues getting in and out. Okay, when well, my CA was explaining to me, I do see where you can have issues getting in and out of the handbag. But the 20 is a gorgeous handbag. But my husband also told me he know I wouldn't use it. So he was like, the Speedy 20 looks more like you. Okay, so let me put this on. 
as a crossbody over the shoulder and I'm going to add it to more handbags and I'm going to put this strap on the Speedy 25 as well. Okay, so first things first, of course, this is my favorite way to wear most of my handbags as a crossbody. So here this beauty is on me as a crossbody. And again, guys, this is adjustable. So let me show you actually the longest length, okay? I should have started off with that. I'm going to adjust this. This is for my tall divas. Woo, kind of hard to adjust. Okay, so... Let me show you. And so this is right below my hip. I would say about eight inches, okay? Eight inches below my hip here. And you know, this is kind of long for me, but for my tall divas, this will be perfect for you guys. So you guys will love this, okay? So here it is. And so I am going to adjust it back to my liking right at the hip right here right at the hip and then over the shoulder But my favorite way, of course, is carrying it as a tote. And you guys know, I give honest reviews. This strap is too much for this bag. Honestly, the adjustable strap on this, I am thankful that they gave it to us. But it's too much for this handbag. This most definitely should be on a 25. So I am going to put that out there and I'm just giving my honest opinion on it. But here it is. And also, my husband isn't a fan of this handbag at all. The strap he is, he's not a fan of the handbag. So, I'm going to take this strap off and I am going to put it on my Speedy 25. And like I said, I'm just going to show you guys a few looks of a few of Dame B handbags I have in my collection. And you guys rate it, let me know in the comments. Okay, so here is my Speedy 25 bandolier, and I added the guitar strap, and here it is. This strap belongs with this size handbag. I'm, I'm telling you guys now, the strap is actually what sold that handbag for me. I absolutely love it. I love the print, but just look. I'm telling you. This, this guitar strap belongs on the 25. Okay, so I'm going to add it on a few more bags just to give you guys, um, you know, just a vision of what and a view of what you can do with this strap if you do have this handbag. Okay, so I added it to the Dame B Ammo BB. So if you have this handbag in your collection, try the guitar strap with this handbag as well. Okay, now I am going to switch it to wear it over the shoulder, which is honestly my least favorite way, especially with a guitar strap. I just feel like over the shoulder is more like a classy feel, you know, I don't know. The guitar strap just doesn't do me do it for me over the shoulder. This is most definitely like a strap that's supposed to be worn as a crossbody, if you guys understand what I'm saying.
So, again, let me know what you think. How do you feel? If you have the handbag, are you enjoying it? How do you feel about it? If you have the Speedy 25 and the Speedy 20 and that may be in your collection, let me know. Will you still reach for the 25? Which one do you like better? Okay, so here's a good tar strap on the Graceful PM. And if you have the Graceful MM, I'm not sure if you, you know, would like to carry it as a crossbody because the bag is much larger to me than the PM. But here it is as a crossbody. Just get as creative as possible with these straps, guys. Okay, and I have the favorite, the original favorite handbag, but I wouldn't add the guitar strap on to that bag. That's like my classy date night bag, and a guitar strap doesn't belong on the favorite, okay? So I'm not going to add it on that, but I went and actually took the Speedy 25 strap, the bandolier strap, and I added it to my Speedy 20, and guys, this is the actual look. This is how the Speedy 20 was supposed to be sold. I'm thankful for the strap, but this is it. The guitar strap is just a bit too much for this size handbag. I honestly believe that you guys are going to be upset with me, but just be happy that LV didn't release it like that, okay? The guitar strap that's not adjustable is meant for the speedy 20. it's meant for the speedy 20. the non-adjustable good tar strap is meant for the speedy 20. the adjustable strap is a bit too much for this size handbag i'm just i'm just putting my own opinion out there i am happy to have the strap or this simple look here even with the monogram speedy you can still take the good tar strap off but a vachetta strap an original strap honestly would do this right here is the look it's not to me it's not plain it's a classy look you can still dress it up you can still dress it down this is the look okay this is the the look and to me this made this handbag looks 10 times better it really did so here it is over the shoulder a lot of you guys are like oh no that looks plain i'm only giving my opinion on what i like and this would have done it for me but i am thankful that i got a beautiful strap out of the purchase okay Going to compare both handbags now. Let me get this zipped so you guys can see the size difference. And I am going to be honest with you guys. I'm not wild. I'm not wild by the handbag, and it could be because I have the Speedy 25, which I absolutely love and adore this size. Um, I think it was because of honestly the strap. I had to do some adjustments and. I love carrying my Speedy 25, and so I'm going to see. I have 72. I have 72 hours. Okay, I have 72 hours. I gave myself business days. This was purchased on Friday, so I I didn't count Saturday and Sunday. So by Wednesday, you guys will know if I am going to keep this beauty or not. So both Speedies. This is the 20, of course, and this is the 25. I'm going to take the strap off. I want you guys, if you are seeking to purchase, I want you guys to get to full detail and actually look at the handbag and let me know what you think.
okay? Size difference. Here's I'm thinking about taking the bag tag from the Emma BB and adding it on here if I do keep the bag. Because I just love having the bag tag on here. And I got this from the Graceful PM. So I'm going to take the bag tag from the Emma. A matter of fact, hey, you guys should be sipping tea. Let me do it right now and show you guys how it will look. Okay, so here it is. Here is the bag tag here. I took this off the Emma BB, okay? Here it is. I love this. And, and it might take away, let me see. Okay, and here it is. Or you can just simply add a bag charm, an LV key charm, and it doesn't have to be LV. But if you do decide, you know, you want to dress it up a bit, you most definitely can do so. And I also want to let you guys know, if you do have the Ammo BB in your collection, I, just looking at it, just eyeballing it, I think they hold the same amount of items guys just shape different and if you want a video on that i most definitely can get a video up but i'm just like i said i'm just eyeballing it i think i did a video already on the ammo bb the monogram ammo bb versus the speedy 20 monogram and they hold probably the exact same amount and so my husband honestly told me i am purchasing the exact same handbags over and over again <laughs> okay so let me go and get my speedy 20 monogram and let me know what questions do you guys have i already did a what fits in my speedy 20 monogram so guys you know what fits in this is this isn't new to us it's just a different print so if you have a speedy 20 monogram guys you know exactly what fits in and so, you guys see my little trifecta is kind of, you know, making its way. I would say in 2024, guys, we will have a Dame Azure Speedy 20. I'm just putting it out there. I'm hoping for a reverse monogram. But as of right now, this is it. In the Speedy 20, the classic prints, we have the beautiful monogram. And now we have the beautiful Dame Bean. Let me know if you have both in your collection and are you waiting for the Dame Azure that is coming out, guys. I know it in 2024. So, guys, like I said, let's talk amongst ourselves. I'm going to let you know the reason I didn't go for the crop capucine, it was actually sold. And also, not only that, I just purchased the orange Ammo BB and I absolutely love the LB Leather on it but the orange capucine is what honestly stole my heart it stole my heart the 20 was just beautiful the only reason like i said i didn't walk away with the 20 handbag was because it was a display bag that's all they had and friday this was the only speedy 20 dame bean that actually you know came there and my ca she said she snatched it she got it and put it on hold for me and when I tried it on, my husband said, Marquita, this is you. <laughs> this is your type of bag. But again, I'm not wowed by it. And I only believe I'm not wowed by it because the love I have for my Speedy 25 in this exact print. Okay, that's it. I'm never going to sell this. That's settled. I'm never going to sell this. So I have 72 hours to see if I am going to keep this handbag or take it back and just wait on another handbag, like the beautiful Atlantis handbag that's coming in November. So, you guys let me know. What do you think? Am I crazy for keeping both of the handbags? Meaning, keeping this handbag because I'm most definitely going to keep this. And I'm not going to say crazy because I like what I like. I just love getting, you know, you guys' opinion on how you feel about it. Let me know about the strap. How did, how how do you love the strap? Is the strap good to go? Should I add the strap back on this beauty 
or should I add the original dark brown strap that came with the 25 so so many questions we have so much to talk about leave it in the comments guys thank you so much for tuning in as always stay safe stay blessed until next video bye bye